Hey guys, what we have here today is a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge running on Android Marshmallow. According to most smartphone lovers and reviewers, this is the best phone on the market today. So we have decided to compare this phone's 12 megapixels camera to the camera of its predecessor, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, which also has a camera of 16 megapixels, which is why we have decided to do a quick comparison of these two and see if the megapixels are really that important in a smartphone camera or not. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As it can be seen right away, S6's pictures are in 16x9 AR whereas the S7's are at 4x3 which to me is quite a letdown since I like to watch my photos through my TV and it simply looks better when the picture fills the whole 16x9 TV screen. The S7 has a 12 megapixels camera which is a downgrade compared to the S6's 16 megapixels but on the S7 camera Samsung has come up with a technology called dual pixels which means the S7 pixels have a bigger size equaling less pixels but bigger ones compared to the S6's pixels. The newer camera has also a wider lens which lets you capture more stuff even though it's a 4x3 photo and then you can also feel there is more detail coming from the newer camera. What Samsung has mostly bragged about the newer S7 is the low light performance of the camera and you can see why they did that as in our pictures taken during the night you can see a much more realistic more detailed and sharper picture of the S7 edge compared to the S6 edge. Big improvement can be seen in the autofocus speed of the S7, even the S6 actually does a decent job but the newer Galaxy simply changes focus almost instantly. So if you record videos more than take pictures, this is a feature you should consider when deciding between the two phones. The video quality in both phones is almost identical too, as along UHD and slow mo videos they also support a great video stabilization feature. Now to give a conclusion on what we've taken a look at, if you're trying to decide between the two devices and the camera along with money are the biggest reasons or your decision, I personally think one shouldn't spend the extra $200 to get the newer Galaxy. If you have any opinion that you'd like to make it heard, please write a comment down below and as always, thanks for watching.